Hello everyone, how are you? We are now in Seoul, in the near of Yongsan, and there is a special place which was requested in the comment section, Munjabi Coffee Shop from Bibong. He opened this coffee shop a time ago, and I never was there before, and I looked at YouTube and there were not many videos of the Munjabi Coffee Store. So let's do this, let's go. To give you a general overview, this is a very quiet neighborhood here with many restaurants for young people, as you see. And somewhere in this street here, I guess, there is the Munjabe. So let's go there. Let's just hope that the store is not closed because of COVID. There's this funny guy here in the Segway. Ah, and I see it. Munjabe. It's right in front of us. You see the gray building there? Right there is the coffee shop and I wonder how it is. I saw some pictures on the internet and it looked very fine, especially the cappuccino. They, they prepared it very, very tasty. And here it is, the Munjabe Seoul Coffee Store. Do you like the design? It looks very minimalistic, but of course not so special like the Osage from mine of it, in my humble opinion. Let's go one time around, Let's see what we can expect here. There are a lot of people inside, as I see. Oh, but it looks quite nice. I really wonder who this guy is. Do you know him? The mask is now on, so let's go in. Yeah. Let's look around. Wow, this place looks very beautiful. I really, really like the design. So let's see what we can order. You can even buy some of the smartphone cases here. Can you see? And some pale ale, as I guess. Very cool. That's what here. Do you like the decoration in here? Looks really fine. But I hope it's not too dark to show you every detail here. So let's see what to order. Here you have the cards. Of course, not to forget the card. It's really odd that there's details in here. Sadly, we cannot go into the floor. The card here. Some art, it doesn't mean the mirror. Hello, guys. Let's wait till the coffee arrives and check out how it tastes like. I hope good. It's the first time that I got coconut coffee, so I'm really, really, really expecting something nice out of it. I love the taste of coconut. Also, they gave us one share more for me because there were no one. It's also good service. Oh. Look at that, my I'm told me right now that this hotel here, which looks like Electric Guitar, was opened in Los Angeles. Wow, I never saw this building before. We also have here some AB Road catalogs, exploring new spirits. Nice. That's cool. That, uh, why are we waiting for a coffee? You can look at these magazines here. Uh, coffee comes. Yeah. Wow. Look at this coffee. This is, I guess, the coconut latte coffee and looks very beautiful, even decorated. Wow. I guess till now this is the most beautiful coffee I saw or that I got till now in Korea. This little Mujabi coffee makes really a lot plus points at the beginning. Great. Let's just see if the coffee is as tasteful as it looks like. Beside the coffee, what's really great here is we had the chance to put these cartons away so we have perfect lighting here to shoot the video but beside the whole talking let's finally try the coffee i guess myself do i need to mix it or can i drink it like that let's take a sip like that and then mix it around and of course smell test the coconut comes through but it has a very natural coconut aroma not a machine made coconut aroma which you know from for example coconut chocolate it's hard to describe this coffee. I never tasted coconut coffee before. 
but it tastes completely natural and it's better than every coconut chocolate I ever had. I guess when you come here and you really want to try a special coffee, take the coconut latte. You will not regret it. But of course, let's mix it one time around and see how the taste changes for this. Sadly now the cool two colors have disappeared, but uh, what should it be? So, a couple times more just to get sure that uh, we have spread the coconut around. So, I guess I have mixed this one right and then let's try it again and let's see if the taste is different. But I guess it should be the same. Also, should we try her Americano? As you know, Americano is the most famous coffee in Korea. It's really beloved and if you see here around, you see many, many people who are drinking the same Americano as we do. Let's just take a sip and try. I hope it's nice. If it's as tasty as this coffee here, plus. Mm. It's not bad, but I like a little bit sweet coffee and this one has a really strong taste to it. But I guess my wife will love it. She's a big fan of Americano coffee. Also, before we forget, normally an Americano here in Korea costs around two dollars. This was four, so it's more expensive than a normal Americano, but you pay for the design, for the ambiente and all that. And I guess this makes the experience up. And for this big boy here, I mean, it's really a lot of coffee, as you see. You pay, let's say, six dollars. This is also more expensive than a normal coffee store here in Korea, but the taste really makes up. And if you like coconut, and it's not really common in Korea to find one, it's really worth a visit. And also, if you are a big fan of Bee Bomb, I really, really recommend this place. Well, my wife is reading also about Switzerland because we go next month there for one month to visit my mother. She's informing herself. What a coincidence that in this travel magazine there is a huge part about Switzerland. So I let her read that and we will look around a little bit and look at the decorations in here. I hope I don't disturb nobody, but I guess it's quite fine. We have some pictures here on the wall. I wonder if you make them. Also, you see you have many, many prospects which you can look around while drinking your coffee in here. It's very good for the head. Outdoor magazines can go out. So, does b bomb like outdoor, it seems like. Also, here what do we have right next to the plant here? Breakfast at Tiffany's, uh-huh. Came park, some outdoor magazines. And again, go out. Okay, wait, let's place them again beautifully, like that. Do you like it? I do. What do we have at this side? Some lamps. I really, really wonder. I have the second floor, but I guess we cannot go up there. So, what should it be? And again, back like there we have the toilet. And uh, what do we have here? Some designer prospects. Can you see them? It's very dark in here. So here picture channel number five. I don't know if you can see it. It's very dark. I wonder who has made this picture here. Yes, I mean, but it's fine. Let's look at the front again. I just wonder which um, catalogs do we have here. Aha, uh -huh, something about liquor. It's fine. Not to forget this one here. Do you like it? I really wonder who made this. For example, this one is hand stitched, as you see. Wow. And when we were looking through this Abroad magazine, we saw here this Mujabi latte. Look how tasty it looks like. Full of chocolate, which you can get here. And I made the mistake to not order this one. But I guess this will be next time the case. It will be not the only time today where we go here. And just look at this coffee. I wonder how you eat it with a spoon firstly and then drink the rest out of it. Next time we will know it. So, we are finished with our coffee and it was a beautiful day today. We went to the KQ Entertainment Building, to the new one and also to Mujabi Coffee Store from B Bomb. I hope you did like Booth Adventures, especially also the coffee store here. I love to visit coffee stores in Korea, especially from K-pop stars like B Bomb and great that they open these. I mean, this is more than just fan service and we can only wonder how much money they make with these coffee stores. 
I mean, this is how today. There were so many people in there. It was completely full. And it's so sad that I had not chance to try the Mujabi latte, but next time I will do it. When we ordered the coffee, I was not particularly sure about the name of this latte, which I also saw on Instagram and at other places. But at least the coconut coffee was also worth a buy. Absolutely it was. And um, beside the red bean coffee store at the KQ Entertainment, at the old KQ Entertainment building, Mujabi was also absolutely worth a visit. And one of the, let's say, most tasty coffee that I ever had here in Seoul. So I guess if you really are searching for a good coffee and you are also a K-pop fan, you can visit without any remorse one of the coffee stores of the many K-pop idols here in Korea. It's not just the name, they make really, really great products also here. I mean, if they are making their music so good as the Koreans do, it would be a really shame if the coffee would not taste tasty, but it does. So if you come to Korea, visit the K-pop entertainment buildings, but also the coffee stores, don't forget that. Also, I thank you all for the wonderful support. It's great to have you all on board and I love it to make you happy with my videos, really. At every place I go, you all are in my heart. And also with your help today, I found this great coffee store here, as well as the new KQ building. So I'm so happy, my wife also. And I wish you all a good morning, a good day, a good evening, no matter where you are on this wide, wide world. And we will see each other next time, guys. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not done it already. And also give me a like. It's a make place for this car here and we'll see each other next time. I wish you all a wonderful day, a wonderful time. Goodbye guys.